Hey, it's Chuck here back with more Milton Daily Homes. And I had, I don't know about you, but I had a super weekend and uh, lots of great clients. I spent some good time with the family. And uh, what more could you ask for? So the uh, today's list, we got 21 properties. Better get right to it. We got 15 minutes max. That's all YouTube gives us. So 81 mill, 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 mill side number three. It's a penthouse, 2885. It was listed at 299. And at 299, I thought this was a steal. This is right down the road from downtown. There's a beer store there. There's everything you could possibly want. And if you check the virtual tour, they don't have photos, but the tour is up and it's a Gorgeous home, the view, everything's exceptional. So I highly recommend this one. June 30th as a possession day. And the maintenance fees are $547. They include basically everything, including cable TV. So um yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Stover, you know what's interesting about Stover is I get a bit of nostalgia because I think that this is the first home I ever sold when I came to Milton and started working here. And I think at that time it was, uh, you know, 210 or 220 that we ended up selling it for. So anyhow, many years later, it's at 315.5. It's a Bryant model. It's 1235 square feet. And You've got a little bit of stuff in the back, nothing exceptional. Um, got some upgraded flooring here. And so it's set up like an L shape where you can see the kitchen with the, the little space here and then the family is just off to the side. A little bit of a, a backsplash there, white kitchen, very fresh, very clean looking home. And uh, there's only one full bathroom upstairs and the front bedroom can, this one that's right on the uh, on the bay window here, it can get a little bit small. So most people use it as an office or a nursery, but for like a teenager's room, it's a little bit small. So you really feel the size on this one on the second floor. 315.5, I think the last one sold at 316. So they're doing really well bamboo floor on this one here too. I like it. And they just put in new shingles. Interestingly enough, that neighborhood's only about 10 years old, but we're seeing signs of shingles starting to wear down a little bit faster. Willet Terrace is our listing. So it just came out uh, last week on Friday. It's a Bolton model, 1275 square feet. And in the past, there was one on Scott that recently just sold uh, for record price. And um, you know, and I thought, wow, that's high, but we priced it according to that sale, and uh, we've already got an offer on it, so very, very exciting. Uh, looks super inside. Okay, so we've got hardwood floors, um, Berber carpet on the second floor. He's upgraded the little fixtures here. I mean, it's a meticulously maintained home, and the bedrooms are all good size. You're only getting one full bathroom on this one here, too. Um, we did some staging in this room and we re repositioned some furniture to make it look its best. So that is uh, the home there. And it's a nice quiet street on Willet too. So I, what more can you ask for? And it's been, uh, like I said, there's been a lot of activity in the first couple days. Um, Panton Trail is at 334.9. And so this one is really value in the sense, I don't know if you can get more square footage for the money than this one. So 1715 square feet. Um, they've done some interlocking on the patio here. And when you walk into the house, again, upgraded flooring. And inside the kitchen, it's not bad. I mean, they've upgraded the light fixture. The complaint on this one is that it can sometimes be a little bit narrow in that front room. But what you get is really nice sized rooms upstairs. You get two full bathrooms. Plus, downstairs you get a finished basement, and that's done by the builder too, so you know it's good quality. There's the direct access to the garage from the uh, like from the back door there. Uh, it's a good place to put your garbage and everything else. So at 335, I like it. So 1715 total living space, okay? So the actual upstairs is maybe, you know, 1400, and then we've got the downstairs too. McNair is 359.9. This is a, a Lake Point. It's, I think, 1385 square feet. Um, it's decent inside. They've done a bit of moldings, a little bit hard to see in the photos, and a little bit of a French door coming from the front entrance. So it's one big open room here. And it's uh, it's a really good layout. If you like open space, this one has uh, is is definitely a good model to consider. And the bedrooms are good size. They've done a uh, a bathroom with a shower down in the basement. They finished the basement. I find tile a little bit cold on the feet in the basement. I like a good thick carpet. And uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a bar there too. So if you're watching a movie, you want to pour a drink. There it is. There's your bathroom downstairs too. So 359.9 I think is pretty fair for this size for being a semi and having the finished basement. 
Uh, Bond and Crescent, 367.9, looking for a May 16th possession. Semi-detached, and it says it's uh, 1685 square feet. And the description's funny. So uh, you can watch the neighborhood comings and goings on Bonin. Um, yeah, four years old. I think that this one has... Uh, some very desirable features. These are nice with the nine foot ceilings too. So they might have a shot. I don't know until I see the fi the pictures, but I do like it. Bonin's a little bit close to the train tracks though. So it might be something to consider if uh, if you're on the street to look at how far you are. Uh, Hepburn 369. This is a, uh, a 1500 square foot home. And I, you know what happens a lot? There's been a couple sales of this particular model uh, 360, 362, and they were all really good. And then all of a sudden someone comes along that's not as good and asks for the big money. And actually sometimes they stand on the shoulders and actually get it. So I don't know. I mean, the, these guys comparing are not even close to the other ones that have sold. I just sold one for 360. Um, that was in great shape. This one here is cluttered. They could have taken the stuff off the fridge. Lots of things off the countertops. I mean, they took a photo of the top step with a, uh, a parade of elephants there. So it really doesn't show very well. I think that they could have improved the, uh, the condition immensely. They're looking for an April 22nd possession. So they really don't have a lot of time. So these guys are motivated. Um, if I was that motivated, if I had a gun to my head, I'd definitely be showing my house better than this. I don't know if they have a lot of shot at it. Hepburn is at 389.9, so it's the same model. And I mean, you're talking about the extreme upgrade on this one here. This kitchen's been extensively worked on. There's your front room, so it didn't really map it out on the other listing. Master bedroom, all three rooms are good size. You could put a queen size bed in any of these rooms. And there it is. You have nine photos. I'd like to see a little bit more detail, especially in the family room. But 389. Um, there, there has been one that sold in the 380s. Gorgeous kitchen as well, but they had the finished basement. So I don't know. That one might have a chance. I mean, the kitchen is very nice in it. Uh, Woodward is at 389.9. Fully detached home bungalow. And we talk about, on, or they talk about on the listing, of having... Uh, accessibility options for this one here too. So if someone is disabled or elderly, they could access the basement through this garage so that the level and the way it's set up can really allow for that, which is uh, which is good. I think this is on the corner of Cabot Trail and Woodward. Um, nice French doors here. Now that's cool. I'm sorry. That is just awesome. I would love a house that had that. Uh, you've got the melamine and wood cabinets and some parquet floor through the bedroom. So cosmetically not perfect, but I think it has some charm to it. 65 by 100 foot lot. Under 400, you're getting a pretty big home here. So I think overall they've done a good job presenting it. I think the price seems fair. Um, that's, that's a relist too. Cabot Trail is at 389, and four rooms, they're a little bit smaller, it's not a huge home, but it's a 53 by 114 foot lot, kitchen's a little bit tight, and they've got an eat-in area, and that's all it shows, so we've got nine photo slots, but we're not seeing all the photos used, uh, but there's one on Mackenzie for 399 so these guys are going underneath that, and uh, it's a good value pick, definitely. Colson 399 it was 419 relisted. Uh, 35 by 121 foot lot. It's got a double car garage, four bedrooms. It's big. It's renovated. It's again not perfect. You got to rip down some wallpaper, but this home is good and it's great for older kids because the split levels have a lot of areas for people to hang out. Uh, it's huge. I bet you it's well over 2,000 square feet. This one, and um, I like it. I think there's a walk out there that, uh, that makes a lot of sense. $399, good price. Probably not going to last very long. I don't think you'll find a bigger home in Old Milton for that price. Spire Circle, $399. This is a Rosewood model, and uh, it's okay inside. It seems kind of basic to me. They're asking $399, which really no Madame Semis I think have ever sold over four, and there's been some ones bigger than this with more features. I don't know if they have a, a realistic shot. It says almost 2,000 square feet. It's 1860, so to me that doesn't mean almost. Almost means you're 19, you know, 75 or something. Um, they're not even almost 1,900, so I, I disagree with that statement. Uh, Babcock is at 439 and detached home. 
three bedroom, three washroom. Looks like they've spent a lot of money on the outside. Gazebo in the back, lots of work in the front. It says there's hardwood floors in the description here. Um, I don't know. I mean, most of the stuff they talk about is uh, is on the outside. And when you look at the average return on an investment for landscaping work, that includes pools, concrete, decks, it's usually 20-25% of the price you pay. So I don't know if I'd be showcasing that. Let's show what's inside the house. Dymot 439, and it's a double car garage, corner, hardwood floors, uh, Wow, nice kitchen in here. This one is going to fly. That's the second floor family room of theirs. There's three bedrooms. And uh, wow, very nice. Yeah, you got to put fencing in. They have the air conditioning. They got the appliances. Uh, window coverings they have to put in. But this is a great deal. This is a steal. This one's going to fly off the shelves at 439 Bar Crescent, 439 Same thing. Single garage, 1,800 square feet. It's on a pie shape. When you look inside, these ones are typically selling for a more basic model like this for, um, you know, 4, 410, stuff like that. So you've got the, uh, there's some nice wainscoting in that room there too. A little bit of landscaping, the deck there. Um, if they're going to get this money or close to it, it's going to be because of the lot. And I don't think the house itself is, is, uh, is, is commanding this kind of money. Duff Crescent, a double car garage. Again, three bedroom. Pie shape lot too. Nice hardwood floors here. The kitchen looks great. Second floor family room. And they've got that nice little effect in the ceiling here too. Um, it's a nice looking home. Definitely, definitely. Uh, a 467, I think what may hold them back a little bit is only having the three bedrooms. When you're crossing 450, people start to want that fourth bedroom. Greenlist is $4.99, so now you're getting the fourth bedroom. You lose the pie-shaped lot. You've got very similar upgrading inside. Uh, Nice-looking kitchen, second-floor family room. And what can you say? That's it. But, I mean, there's so much going on. I mean, this is 2,500 square feet. It's uh, that's, that's a strong contender. But what I find is when you get Ezard 519... Uh, there's, I mean, there's just a lot of competition, about 470 to like 530, 540. There's a ton of stuff there. So as a buyer, there's some really good choices. Second floor laundry on this one here too. And it has a finished basement. No photos of that, but I think it would be a great thing to show. McLaughlin's at 589. And yeah, it has the stucco and the stone. Um, inside it's gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it inside. It's 2,600 square feet. I just don't know if it's if it's close enough to that mix where it would want to be. I think this one uh, it really has to play the game a little bit closer to the 550 range. Not necessarily at 550, but I think at 589 they're probably not going to get a lot of activity on it. Uh, Jarrett Crossing is at 599, and so you've got. It, in the description, it, you'd think this one would have a ton of upgrades. I'm not seeing it in the photos, really. There's not a whole lot. The stairs are nice. Um, beyond that, it's carpet. It's kind of plain inside. It's got the five bedrooms, and it's over 3,000 square feet. It doesn't say how big it is. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. Holland Rake is 689. It's the last listing of the day. And I kind of like this one. So it's interesting. The first home I sold in Melton is the first one. This is the home I live in now. And so this is 689. Um, it's 2050. It's on a 56 foot lot. So Madame only builds the 50s now. And um, inside, very, very traditional, nice layout. So you've got the laundry room in the back there through that French door. You've got the kitchen here. Eden, you've got an island, they've upgraded the hood fan, they've done some pot lights, uh, built-in appliance here too, there's garage access over here, they've got the uh, the gas range. That's from the front door, so you've got a living dining to the right-hand side, you've got an, a little den or an office area on this side, and uh, yeah, hardwood floors, crown moldings, there's the master, they've put upgraded some of the flooring there, nice uh, dormers here in the, uh, in the bedrooms. And they finished the basement. So with this one here, if they're going to get the 689, spend some money back here too. Uh, Hall and Rake's a great street. If they're going to get the 689, it's going to be because of that finished basement. So um, that is the list for today. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. I uh, hope you had a great time watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Bye.